Disclaimer, your favorite sci-fi fantasy series may not get a spot on this list. Sorry, Rick and Morty and Futurama fans. Your booze mean nothing! I've seen what makes you cheer! The multitude of high-quality science fiction television series made this a tough list to form. We still think we nailed it, though, and hopefully you'll agree. There were a lot of contenders here, but the best eventually rose to the top. We're talking that now-famous one-season show you all know and love, not to mention a few classic masters of the genre. However, we can promise number three is coming way out of left field. Dark Netflix the first line of this Netflix original series was a word we can't say without getting demonetized. What did you just say? It rhymes with a duck. That alone should give you a clear impression of this German television series. Yep, you heard us correctly, it is German, but subtitles exist. There's no excuse to check out this burgeoning classic. We'll be fair about that and point out its non-American origins tend to lead to exclusion from lists like this. We noticed its accomplishments, though. Many of their first fans compared it to a grim version of Stranger Things. That was before they finished the entire first season. Turns out Dark is a master class in time and the layers of understanding wrapped around it. Stranger Things wishes it could get this deep so quickly. Be prepared to get confused early on. In fact, much of the fandom will happily latch themselves onto a first-time viewer. Sometimes this show takes an experienced guide to get through the first binge watch. Stick with this show, though, because trust us, it's all worth the time. Just get ready for June 27th, 2020. Star Trek Netflix we move from a new kid on the block to one of the OG shows. Before you point this out, yes, it's blasphemy that we're counting all of Star Trek in one entry. We just have to make room for some other shows that owe an ounce of inspiration on Star Trek. Just think of how many of them directly reference the show in one episode or many. We're talking about a concept that's inspired fans to dress like Starfleet officers at Renaissance fairs. Just talking about Star Trek is like walking a tightrope. The slightest misstep and you have five Klingon warships filled with fans attacking your vessel. They're truly dedicated to the mission and purpose of the show, partly because Star Trek made most of the modern TV tropes. People who've never seen Star Trek still know what a red shirt means. Consider this, we don't even need to explain the show to you. You may not know everything about the Borg, the Enterprise run-in with Tribbles, or this city on the edge of forever, but you know Star Trek, and that matters. Doctor Who – HBO Max as Star Trek was running the sci-fi scene in the United States across the pond, another fandom was thrust onto the stage. Yep, you guessed it. He said his name was Doctor Who. The show lasted for 26 years before it was taken off the air. It wasn't until 2005 that the Doctor came back to us. Initially, you could only see the first 12 seasons on the BBC's website. Now the new HBO Max streaming service offers every season of this beloved show. Fear warning, if you're going to binge Doctor Who, make sure you've got time on your hands. It could take you over a year to catch up, depending on how hard you go for it. Who knew you could make so much content about a time-traveling being named the Doctor and his many sidekicks? Just like Star Trek, Doctor Who is so ingrained in our modern pop culture that sometimes you miss the references. They can't all be as apparent as in Spectre space-time. Still, it's clear that a show like this is in the fabric of our culture now. Altered Carbon – Netflix After you watch Altered Carbon, you'll never think about the word sleeves the same way again. For those of you out of the loop, a sleeve is a human body in this cyberpunk future. It's another upstart Netflix series that managed to get its way onto this list, but it took some convincing. In fact, uh, what's that? Oh, we can already hear the disagreements in the comments section. There's no doubt Altered Carbon is the underdog of this list. The first season's 10-episode arc lost some viewers by the end. Turns out a sci-fi whodunit wasn't that original of a concept. We feel that the second season helped the show catch some new momentum. The main character was in a new sleeve, which reminds the viewer that people will change often. The premise was always promising, but seeing it grow more helped sustain loyal followers. This entry is simply a gamble. Think of Altered Carbon like a blurry object way off in the distance. It's just gonna take a little time for its excellence to come into focus. That or it goes the hero's route. Ugh. The Twilight Zone – Netflix The Twilight Zone edges out Doctor Who by just a few years as the oldest show on our list. It was an obvious choice to include it here since it received a reboot in 2019. Believe it or not, it's not the first time the networks attempted to revive this series. 
This was the fourth time The Twilight Zone has graced television's prime time. No matter how many times the show reboots, the original run is always worth taking a look at. The series is an episodic, isolated collection of sci-fi stories. If you've never heard Rod Serling's original intro, do yourself a favor and watch it after this. All the original episodes put together doesn't take you that long to watch and goes a long way. The one issue we see is the question of its fit on this list. Some of these episodes contained no science fiction elements at all. We will admit to that issue. However, the majority of the show has enough fantasy and science-adjacent content to count in our minds. Eye of the Beholder is as much sci-fi as it is a thriller. Firefly, Hulu. So do you all know how a reaver cleans his spear? He runs it through the wash. Oh, uh, too soon? Yeah, that, that was way too soon. We weren't the only ones to do something too soon, though. Looking at you, Fox. The wound that Firefly's cancellation left is still so fresh all these years later. We're gonna do our very best to stay composed while we discuss this, but just know we support bringing it back. If you missed this sci-fi comet when it streaked across our late night lineup, allow us to give you some details. This show was Guardians of the Galaxy before the movie even came out. A brilliant cast led by Captain Reynolds, as played by Nathan Fillion, explores the galaxy on their ship, Serenity. In simple terms, Firefly made space westerns cool before it was popular. People who saw the series air live have become their own particular in-group accepting all latecomers, which means it's never too late to watch this one-season sci-fi staple. If we give it enough attention, maybe Disney will give it a chance. Stranger Things, Netflix. Here's the show you watch after you've seen the rest of the classics on this list. Stranger Things is an homage to the retro sci-fi tropes blended with horror classics. There are, in fact, a few stragglers who haven't taken the time to check this series out. If that's you, viewer, then it is time to take that plunge. We promise you can still be cool even after you watch it. In fact, none of these shows are just for nerds. They're great stories with incredible characters. A lot of Stranger Things themes are pulled from fantasy and dropped into a vat of sci-fi chemicals. It's pure Dungeons & Dragons pulp crossed with Stephen King's science horror classics. Stranger Things proved its place in the first season and is slowly edging its way into all the mainstream pop for the foreseeable future. It's a giant 80s nostalgia trip, with heartwarming characters attempting to stop mega-monsters with sci-fi levels of destructive abilities. Joining these cul-de-sac kids is a super-powered girl named Eleven. Uh, we don't know how else to sell you on this show at this point, so you just gotta watch it. Twin Peaks Netflix. If David Lynch's work is impossible to put in any one genre, then we can place him in any category we want. Face it, the supernatural elements of this show reach a level beyond fantasy. It isn't contemporary science fiction, but it's something like it. How about we just call it a uh, sci-fi adjacent? That's the best we can do at this point. As you can tell, the binger tried hard to be spoiler-free. Unless the video calls for it, we don't want to ruin your viewing experience. In the case of Twin Peaks, spoiling pretty much anything in the show makes it harder to watch. However, we would need to go into detail about some of these elements to make our point. Basically, we're stuck between a rock and the Black Lodge here. Here's what we can say. If you've never seen the show, try it out. You might find it's not the sci-fi stuff that you like, and that's okay. If you've seen the show, great. This is a reason to go back and watch it again. See if you can see our perspective, and uh, could you let us know, uh, how's Annie? <laughs> Black Mirror, Netflix. Here's a show that became the sole reason some people still keep their Netflix subscription. Black Mirror is all about the dangers of technology. It peers at society through a science fiction tinted pair of glasses. Some will argue, including us, that it's the most talked about Netflix show to date. So why exactly should you watch it? Well, it's not a one-arc show. It's a series of one-offs that tend to end in some big twist. The format of Black Mirror is so recognizable now that other shows are attempting to spin off the design. Copycats are everywhere. Uh, wait a second. Episodic series with twist endings based on issues in society? Black Mirror is just a copy of The Twilight Zone. Man, what a twist. It may seem that way on the surface, but deep down, this series is different. For instance, it's one of the most innovative shows on any streaming service. They've been trying hard to change how we watch shows. The writers aren't afraid to jump back into a previous concept and explore more. Add in A-list cameos and you've got yourself a mega hit. X-Files, Disney Plus. We want to believe that X-Files has finally found a home in the streaming service battle. This show was always hopping around streaming services and even got a few extra seasons back on television. 
It appears that The X-Files has become the cockroach of sci-fi TV. No matter how hard the execs try, they can't seem to eradicate this pesky success. Scully and Mulder's endless investigation into extraterrestrial life forms and other strange things that go bump in the night is commendable at this point. The show's premise started out simple enough. Scully doesn't believe in aliens or chupacabras or Sasquatch, but Mulder is a little more open-minded. The two then work on FBI cases connected to the extra-normal. Well, it turns out simple was never in the cards. The series has crisscrossed into a tangled web of theories and plot points. Fans of the show invest deeply in show-related theories, and any newcomer is dropped into a sea of watch guides. Pro tip, only tell an X-Files fan you'll watch the show if you mean it. They'll drop a 100-page series synopsis on your bed the next morning at the slightest hint of interest. Seriously, trust us on this one. Man, that can't be the end of the list. We've got so much more to talk about. Did we run out of time for your favorite show? Give it a shout out below. Please like and subscribe to show your support for The Binger and keep up with our daily videos. Thanks so much for watching.